Morning guys. So today we are going through our pantries. So every week I make a list of what I'm buying for the store. This is pretty normal for some people of what we need, what we're running out of. But this is something that I'm doing today that we do, I do every four to six months. And I basically take a detailed list of what I have and then I know what I need to get and I know what I have on hand to use. And I know if I'm not using something that I need to stop buying that product. Um, and this just helps so much. So I wanted to make a video today to show you guys how I do it. Um, and I usually start with a snack. So I go through my pantry, find snacks, put them in here. That way I can rotate those as well and then go from there. So that is what we are doing. So come along with me and let me show you how I make an inventory of what I have for shopping and for life.
now that I've gone through my snacks in there and seen what kind of cereal I have, what kind of chips I have, um, and things like that, I kind of organized it to where I could get to it easy and I got the packaging out um, and I put the snacks away as you just saw. So now I'm going to go ahead and write on the top of my list snacks um, for storage, for backup. So that's what I'll put on here. I'll write in a sec. <laughs> I don't know what I was just doing. Um, and then I'm going to count the jars in here, count the jars in there, and you'll see me go in there and count that stuff as well. So let's go. that is in my kitchen. I mean, I already knew, but this is just like a help, like a roadmap. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this to write my grocery list, and then I'm gonna go into my pantry and circle on my grocery list the things that I most need. So even if I write, I could buy pinto beans on my list. I already know I have way too many pinto beans, so it's not important. So I won't circle it, I'll just put it on that list as something I, as something I would want to buy. Uh, but I know I have, one can of white beans left and so on that list i'm going to circle that as important for getting in the grocery store 
Um, and then after I'm done shopping, I like to make a list of things that they didn't have that I need to get in the future. So say they don't have any white beans at all. I only have one can left. I will make a separate list of in the future, this is something that I need to buy. And when I circle it, it means it's important. Um, and so that, that's kind of what I like to do. And I also like to use this for, I don't know if I just said that for meal plans and other things, but it's just really good to know what you have on hand. So I hope this help, helps you guys. I'm going to go ahead and go and rewrite this list uh, for a shopping list. And I said list like six times, 50 times in this video. Um, and that way I know what I need to stock up in my prepper pantry. So I hope this guy, this gave you guys some good ideas on what you could do in your house to make things, make sure things don't go bad or expire. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. And I'll talk to you guys later.